Music lovers, listen up. There's a three-day event that brings four-string banjo and ukulele players together to play happy old-time jazz, ragtime, and even some rock and roll. It's called the Arizona Banjo and Ukulele Blast. And today we have Deb Johnson and Peter Mazoyan in the studio for us to play some music. Welcome, guys. Thanks. Hi. So, Deb, tell us, what is the Banjo and Ukulele Blast? Well, we host this event uh, t every two years. The Arizona Banjo Blasters is a local group of banjo players. We host the event every two years and we bring in performers from all over the world, uh, Hall of Famers from uh, the United States. We've got uh, players from England, Japan, all over. Peter here is from Maine and it's uh, wow. this year we've incorporated ukuleles. We have Del Rey coming to play Ooh. and uh, it's just a fun weekend of workshops, jam sessions and uh, just a lot of fun. And if people weren't interested in learning how to play, can they come and hear all the music, or is it just for players? Oh, sure. Anybody can come. It's uh, a daily, we have daily evening concerts. We have uh, uh, afternoon concert on Friday and Saturday. It's $10 a day to just come, and that gets you in for the whole day's events and all the concerts. Wow. Now, Deb, we notice you're not holding a banjo yes. or a ukulele. No, this is a washboard. And I With am. With many uh, other things. Show us what's on yeah, it. Yeah, we've got <laughs> cymbals and bells and horns and whistles. <laughs> and uh, I play in the Arizona Banjo uh, Blasters group, and uh, this is just kind of the percussion section. Okay, I'm dying to know. How on earth did you ever decide I want to play the washboard? I saw a washboard player at the Arizona Banjo Blast in 2010. Oh, wow. And I said, wow, that looks like fun. So, so you just, I mean, I built do, one. Yeah. you built one, and you just started in 2010 playing? Yes. Cool. And then I joined the band <laughs> in about a year and a half later. And wow. Now, Peter, don't yes. think that we're going to let you yeah, get away without okay. saying anything. <laughs> no problem. Now, a lot of people will yes. associate bluegrass music with banjo, but True. your music is different. True, very much. It has to do with the style of the banjo. I'm playing a banjo with only four string, and I'm playing it with a flat pick. A uh, bluegrass banjo would be a, a five string banjo with the fifth string coming up here, and they would be finger picking Earl Scruggs or Pete Seeger. <laughs> The style I play might be more derivative from 1915 to 1930s when it was a rhythm instrument in jazz bands. So perhaps a little bit more uh, similar to jazz guitar in its style, maybe even mandolin due to the, the pick or the plectrum. It's got such it. beautiful detail. Yeah, it really does. Thank Rhinestones. <laughs> Thank you. This is from the 1930s, sort of the heyday of four-string banjo making would have been 1920 to 1935 because it coincides with that music. And this uh, Viga Vox banjo, the Viga company was in Boston, and this was done for me by a great banjo, Luthier Wayne Phillips, who is in New Jersey, but he oh reproduces them. So yeah, oh so very nice. art deco if you look at the, yeah, and even heel carving at the, so I'm very lucky, and, and I do travel with it, but yeah, it's my baby, so to speak. <laughs> and what made you decide to play like the four string, or yeah, it's four, four string? string? Yeah. Uh, as luck would have it, Steve Martin was my idol. I wanted to be a stand-up comic. He oh. played banjo, <laughs> but I didn't know anything about banjo, and the only teacher that we had back in Maine was a man named Don Nichols. Devoutly four string, and you have to understand in the world of banjo, you're either or. They're very mm, seldom, okay. is a, you, you rarely ever go to a four string banjo festival and find a five string player or vice versa. Gotcha. So yeah, it almost becomes like you're, you are one or the other. So, But I've been very lucky. I've had the influence and friends of people from Bluegrass World as well, and certainly the support of, of this banjo community. Well, Sally and I are very excited to hear both of you. Let's get the details of the event. The Arizona Banjo and Ukulele Blast is coming up tomorrow, Friday, and Saturday at the Omni Tucson National Golf Resort on West Club Drive. To learn more about this event, go online to azbanjoblast.com or call 400 7826. And that's arizonabanjoblast.com. Blasters. Sorry, I don't know why I keep saying blast because it is a blast. <laughs> right. <laughs> but the blasters.com and 407826. And now here's a performance from Deb and Peter.